Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Seventeen point one lifting equipment. A general introduction. Lifting equipment including all rigging and slinging appliance, tackles, gears, and anchoring devices shall be purposely designed with strong strength, sturdy structure, reliable and quality certified for the desired work. All lifting device must be die stamped or painted with an identification number, safe working load and due date of inspection to indicate its suitability as per quality assurance criteria. A valid test certificate must be available for all equipment. Where marking is not feasible, such items are to be color-coded and the safe working load recorded in a lifting tackle register, which shall be maintained by the user. The equipment should not be issued or used without a valid test certificate. The anchoring device for such equipment must have a reliable and secured support. The lifting equipment shall never be used on a soft uneven surface or on a slope unless precautions have been taken to ensure stability. Pre-slung loads or palletized loads should not be accepted unless supported with valid test certificate indicating safe working load and due date of inspection. Any contractor, who intends to use lifting equipment in, KOC. Premises must seek approval from the controlling department submitting the quality assurance certificates issued by a reputed and company recognized agency such as Lloyd's, Bureau Veritas or ABS etc. The driver, operator of the lifting equipment shall have adequate training, experience and competency to operate such devices and must be at least 21 years old. A passageway of minimum 610 mm shall be maintained between slewing moving parts of the lifting equipment and guardrails, fixtures in the vicinity. b. Overloading of lifting equipment. Lifting devices must not be loaded beyond SWL, except for the purpose of proof load test supervised by an authorized person on due approval from inspection and corrosion team. No crane will be operated beyond the point where SWL, safe working load, alarm operates. c. Inspection and maintenance of lifting gear and appliances. Inspection and corrosion team shall inspect the lifting equipment and maintain a record for all devices subjected to inspection, survey by internal or external agency. Refer Chapter minus 19 on Code of Inspection for Plant and Equipment. It is the responsibility of the user department to carry out the routine inspection of the lifting equipment before every use. However the user can request inspection and corrosion team to inspect any equipment whose reliability is doubtful. Inspection schedule for cranes, winches, gin pole truck, pulley blocks, gin wheels and shear legs. 1. Inspection to be made at least once a week by the user. 2. Thorough examination to be made at least every six months. 3. Testing to be carried out once a year or after substantial repairs, alteration. 4. Gin pole trucks to be tested at each commencement of work. Inspection schedule of hoist used for lifting goods and passengers. 1. Inspection to be made at least once a week by the user. 2. Thorough examination to be made at least every six months. 3. Testing must be carried out before first use and after repair or alteration. Any lifting tackle such as chain, rope, and eye bolt should be inspected at least once a week. A load test must be carried out prior to first use and after any elongation, alteration, repair or welding. D. Cranes and lifting operation. A crane must be erected under the supervision of a competent authority inspection and corrosion team, and should not be erected in a weather condition likely to affect its stability. A timber support shall not be used as a structural member for framework or bearer in AC crane. A safe access to the component shall be provided for examining, repairing or lubricating a crane. The working platform in a crane shall have enough space, secure fencing and safe accessibility with all moving parts, 
machinery duly guarded. Any winch drum, wire and pulley shall be purposely designed and constructed in conformance to accepted engineering practice and standards. The diameter for a winch drum, wire and pulley will be correct and suitable for the desired function and all chains or ropes must be properly secured to the drum. At least two turns of chain or rope must remain on the drum in all operating condition. The wire rope must wind in evenly and not overlap itself under any circumstances. The diameter ratio of drum and rope must conform to standard practice. All gears, sprockets and wheels of driving mechanism must be properly guarded avoiding injury to the operating personnel. All boom cranes shall have an automatic safe load indicator and alarming device to alert the operator. The alarm will actuate in case the boom extension approaches its safe working limit for a given load. The safe working load should be clearly visible for all boom extensions and must be strictly adhered to. For all rail mounted cranes, a stop or buffer must be provided on each rail at the end of tracks whereas limit switch shall stop the crane automatically. These rails shall have even running surface adequately supported on a surface firm enough to prevent undue movement. Those rails must be laid straight lines or in curves of such radii that the crane can move freely without risk of derailment. The rails, sleepers, bearers, fish plates, chairs, stops and buffers etc. must be properly maintained. The rails and sleepers must not be used as anchorage. The crane user, operator as well as banksman, must assure the weight of the load before it is lifted. It is also recommended to identify the center of gravities for the load especially of non-uniform shape. When the hook cannot be seen directly, the crane driver should rely on signal from banksman responsible for the lift. The crane signals conforming to international practice shall be used for such communication. Refer Appendix 12 for further detail. The crane driver must not lift any load unless it is properly slung and safe for lifting. Each crane shall have suitable fire extinguishers duly approved by fire team and kept in ready to use condition. In event of fire, the crane driver should try to dispose off the load as safely as practicable before switching off the engine and subsequently attempting to extinguish the fire. It is strictly prohibited for anybody to ride on loads, buckets or hooks suspended from a crane boom or derrick. It is also not permitted to operate a crane within a distance of 15 meters from an overhead power lines unless the electrical supply has been cables have been properly isolated. A crane shall not be used for dragging the load. If required a tag link should be attached to balance the load. E. Goods and Passengers Hoists A hoist must have strong support sufficient to carry the maximum imposed load upon it. The hoist shall also have a safe and protected access. The hoist shall be fitted with safety device to support the load carrying basket, gauge, pallet in case hoisting gear fails. A limit switch should also be provided preventing the pallet, basket to overrun at the highest or lowest point of travel. Safe working load must be marked on gauge, basket along with number of persons allowed to travel without exceeding the load limit. Any loose material should not be directly placed on a pallet unless the load is properly secured. Any trucks or wheelbarrow shall not be carried on pallet, platform unless duly secured. Moreover a loaded truck or wheelbarrow should not be carried on open pallet, platform unless properly secured to prevent accidental fall of the content. The hoist operator must take all necessary precautions against any potential hazard associated with the lifting operations. F. Forklift, power trucks, tractors etc. These vehicles shall not be driven at a speed exceeding 8 km per hour while operating in company premises. No person other than driver is allowed to ride or stand on a power truck. A forklift power truck or any power operated lifting device shall be operated by a trained and authorized personnel only. The authorized driver shall set the brake on and remove the ignition key if the vehicle is not being used. The driver must abide by the rules and regulations pertaining to traffic safety as laid down by the company and the state government. A forklift, 
or power truck shall have fixed cover guard to protect the driver from accidental fall of the load being handle. The lifting capacity of such vehicles shall be clearly marked to ensure its adherence while operating. A warning sign should also be posted in the area where such devices are being operated. A power truck should be painted yellow with black stripes as standard practice. Any power truck to be deployed in hazardous areas must be duly authorized under vehicle entry permit in confirmation to stipulated safety measures in this regard. G. Chains, Ropes and Slings a wire rope end should be clamped with required numbers of bulldog grips as suitable to rope size these grips should be fitted at a distance of every six times the diameter of the rope. The grip should be of proper size for the rope. Wire rope ends must never be welded together at the stranded ends. The eye of all looped wire must be fitted with a proper thimble and possibly return end secured with correct size ferrule fitted by means of a crimping tool. The rope or sling must never be shortened by tying knots or swapping around a crane hook. It should not be jointed by nuts and bolts inserted through the link or clamped with flat steel plate. A suitable packing might be used to prevent the edges of a load coming into contact with slings, ropes or chains. H. License to operate a powered lifting device. The company or contractor employee engaged for operating cranes, bulldozers, excavators, forklifts and powered trucks etc. must have successfully passed the competency test as stipulated under state laws and company regulations. Please give comment and suggestions. Thank you. Subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank for visit our channel. See you next class. Thank you.